good morning everybody welcome back to my channel my name is maya aka maya maya for the new subscribers and for the returning hey girl hey This is a pretty slow morning in my life. I am on my way to Pilates currently. I am actually rushing because it says I make it there on the dot. And so I don't like being late to this class. I'm gonna... We'll talk later. In 10 seconds. So take a deep inhale. Let it go. Hey y'all, so just back in the car on the way home. It's currently 11 o'clock, so it's almost afternoon. It's not really the morning anymore, but it's okay. We're gonna continue to go about our day in the most productive way as we can. Um, just going through the motions. Uh, I lost a family member this week, and so it's been a little hard, but we're just gonna take everything, one thing at a time. We're just gonna take it slow, and uh, we're gonna have a good day. So all in all, I'm gonna go in the house, take a long shower, make me some breakfast, put on some clothes to actually feel like myself today, and take everything one one moment at a time. I know I just keep saying that, but it's, it's true. You have to go slow in order to just be more intentional in your life versus being chaotic and rapid and, and going about a million things at once. So grief can just be a heavy thing. And so it's just important to take your time. I'm gonna get off the camera now and I'll come back when I'm feeling a bit better. But Pilates was very much needed today. I actually enjoy Pilates. I enjoy Pilates for the low impact portion of it. I like lifting weights and I like working out in general because it aids in my mental health just burning off that energy I really like this set that I was wearing today it's from Comfly the brand I'm gonna tag uh, some links in the description box for you if you're interested they are affiliate links and discount codes if you want to utilize them but yeah just really enjoyed today so far and we're gonna keep it going so yeah I'll see y'all in a second
It is a hundred and are you serious? It's a hundred and ten degrees. That's why my fan is going hard because I only have my fan on, not the AC, so that it doesn't freeze over. Or my AC will freeze and not work and not blow and not do anything. I don't know if that happens with you guys. Anyway, so we went to Whole Foods. I actually got me some food food, green beans, sweet chili salmon, and some sweet potatoes. They're just okay. Got me some healthy snacks. Got me some nacho cheese hip peas. They're like the little cheese puffs. They're okay. They're vegan and healthy. And then I got these chocolates and then realized when I ate it, oh, these are healthy too. It's stevia sweetened Lily's chocolates. And I put them in the freezer because I like when I want chocolate because I'm not a huge chocolate fan, but like on my period or whenever I'm just craving it, I want it frozen. But it's these Lily peanut butter cups. They're okay. So I'm doing a lot better. I am actually a little congested. I see or realize that when I go in public and I don't have a mask on, I come back feeling congested and I don't like that for me. I don't really want this right now. Oh, I still have coffee. I didn't drink all my coffee this morning. Okay. I also am trying to keep you like mid shot because I don't have any pants on. That's how hot it is. This morning I was really in a funk and I am way, way, way better now. I've talked to like my family and everybody's okay or doing decent. And what's crazy is not only with losing a family member, but just paying attention to my surroundings. I noticed when I was at Whole Foods, a homeless gentleman outside passing out on the curb. I didn't see him, but another gentleman found him and called 911. And the ambulance came and helped him. They gave him a case of water Water, which was a blessing and I smiled at it because I was like that is so nice I was literally about to give him my water so I was gonna give him like this whole thing and then go buy him some like fruits some watery fruits like watermelon and just give him like what he needs but I saw that he had like some fruit and he had water and I was like okay that he was like pouring water on himself but the point just watching how they helped that man and revived him and made sure he was okay before they left seeing a random civilian help him seeing how everybody was kind of watching not just being nosy but like is he okay it made me appreciate life it made me want to be way more intentional just in that moment i was grateful to have my life thinking of my family member thinking of this man thinking of several people in this california heat of 110 to 11 to 12 degrees and not having anywhere to go not having the resources not having water not having what they need for their just their well-being and so it made me appreciative that i do have what i need it made me want to be more intentional with taking care of myself and giving me what i need i'm proud of myself for going to pilates still moving my body just intentionality I, it's nothing really to say other than that yo it's so hot as i'm talking talking to you and holding this peanut butter cup is melting as I'm holding it in my fingers like can you see that that's crazy I take notes in therapy and so I've been going back and like reading them and stuff and all in all I just got to do what makes me happy and so one step at a time very grateful I thank you for being here um I need to cook dinner tonight so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make I'm trying to remix and use what I have in the fridge before I just keep buying food keep buying food and Uber Eats and DoorDash because that shit costs too much let me go figure that out all right, y'all, so it's much later. I hope you can hear me because I feel like I'm yelling because I have cotton balls in my ear. I feel like an old lady, but I think I'm getting an ear infection in both ears, so. I bought these air drops from Target. I hope they work. These are for like swimmers ears, so like if you still have water left in your ear, which I thought was the problem, but I don't really know. I kind of want a pasta, just in general. I've been saying, hey, I need to cut back on carbs, but fuck it. I want a mussel pasta, so I got some frozen mussels. I'm cheating the system. We got some mussels with white wine sauce, so whatever or white wine butter and garlic sauce i don't have the essentials i don't have an onion i don't have garlic how do you function in this household boil some noodles like spaghetti noodles put this in a pot actually i have some shrimp and then i have like cherry tomatoes can i tell y'all i ain't got no spaghetti noodles um we're gonna experiment let's just do it
I just want to cool the down. Don't worry, don't try. It's okay. Y'all hear how hot the fan is? Like it's hot. I know I already tasted it, but the moment of truth with everything, the real moment of truth, y'all. I did it. I did it. What I should have did though, was cook them separately. Cook the rice in this other thing and then do the mussels and stuff in another. That way I could have made the rice cheesy. Cause that would be fire. You know, Parmesan. Cause yeah, I'm just throwing it on top, fuck it. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna close this video out here before I start turning to a crackhead, but I love you. Thank you for rocking with your girl. I'm just grateful for who we is here, okay? Hey girl, hey. And I'll just see you in the next video because I already got stuff planned and I already got stuff drafted up and I just need to make some thumbnails and do my SEO. You know how I go. But today's better. Tonight is better. Not a delicious meal. Practice gratitude and intention. Grateful to be here. And so I love y'all and I will see you in my next video.